ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री इज टूडे दिक्स लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड प्रोड्यूसिंग अराउंड सेवेंटी मिलियन कार्स एवरी ईयर एंड मेकिंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू गवर्नमेंट रेवेन्यूज ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड ऑटोमोटिव व्हीकल्स आर नो लॉन्गर द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम दैट दे आर यूज टू बी दे आर इनफैक्ट वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट कंज्यूमर्स ऑफ सेमी कंटर चिप्स लाइक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स एप्लीकेशन स्पेसिफिक इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स एंड एम्बेडेड हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सोल्यूशन अराउंड दी कंटर चिप्स In fact, at a time in a modern automotive vehicle, there are more than thousands of integrated circuits and more than one lakh line of code running in a vehicle. Since then, the sector of embedded electronics and more precisely embedded software has been increasing at an annual rate of ten percent in automotive industry. Embedded electronics and technology has made great strides, and nowadays the quality of electronic components. their performance their reliability and their robustness enables to use them even for critical systems at the same time the decreasing cost of this embedded components allows them to be used to support any function in a car furthermore in the last decade several automotive embedded network protocols such as lin can ttp flexray and ethernet were developed multimedia and telematic applications in cars are increasing rapidly due to consumer pressure a vehicle currently involves electronic equipment like hand free phones audio and radio devices and navigation systems for the passengers a lot of entertainment devices such as video equipment communication with the outside world are also available now inside a car these kind of applications have little to do with the vehicle's operation and motion itself nevertheless they increase significantly a part of the software involved in a car example of these facts are in 2004 the embedded electronic system of a volkswagen phaeton car was composed of more than 10000 electrical devices 61 microprocessors and 3 control area network transceiver ics that supports the exchange of 2500 pieces of data several subnetworks and one multimedia bus in the volvo s car the it has a intercar network support to communicate between the microprocessors controlling the mirrors and controlling the doors for example in that car the position of the rear view mirrors is automatically controlled according to the sense of the nearby vehicle and the volume of the radio is adjusted to the vehicle speed in a recent cadillac when an accident occurs it causes an airbag to inflate and its microcontroller emits a signal to the embedded global position system receiver that then communicates with the cell phone making it possible to give the vehicle's position to the rescue service these are just few examples but there are many more that would illustrate this very large growth of embedded electronic systems in modern vehicles now in this video we are going to dig deeper into the electronic systems in a automotive vehicle to get an hierarchical understanding about the electronics used in a car one can divide the car in different parts and these parts are basically termed as domains according to european organization ita their project east eea project a domain is referred as a sphere of knowledge influence activity or a system in which one or more similar kind of subsystems are to be dealt with the term domain in automotive can be used to group mechanical and electrical systems that are working for one functional system of the car historically there are five domains in automotive first is power train which relates to the systems that participate in the longitudinal proportional of the vehicle including engine transmission and all subsidiary components next is chassis domain which refers to the four wheels and their relative position and movement in this domain the systems are mainly steering and braking next comes the body domain which includes the entities that do not belong to the vehicle dynamics but to the car users such as airbags wipers lightning window lifter air conditioner seat equipment and etc then comes the hmi domain which includes the equipment allowing information exchange between the electronic systems and drivers like displays switches and all such kind of systems next comes the telematic domain which is related to the components allowing ex information exchange between the vehicle and the outside world like navigation system internet access radio system payment gateway and all these things 
from one domain to another electronic systems often have very different features for example the power train and chassis domain both exhibit hard real time constraints and need for higher computation power the telematic domain requires high high data throughput however the hardware architecture in the chassis domain is more widely distributed in the vehicle from this standpoint the technological solutions in each domain used are very different for example the communication networks the design techniques the verification of the embedded software are different for each domain these five domains power train chassis domain body domain hmi domain and telematic domain cover all the electronic and electrical systems of the car you can think of any such system what you can think of and it will fall in one of the above domains specified now in the which domain okay so now we have gotten to know about the function domains in the car now let's get into some practical projects and hands on activities that can be done to mimic different automotive electronic systems of different domains as always one of the first thing that would be needing to make an electronic automotive system is a microcontroller or microprocessor and to use a microcontroller or microprocessor we will be needing a development board around it and here comes the electronics version 2 which is an automotive development board based on nxp semiconductors s32k144 microcontroller using this development board various electronics of systems related to power train and body control domain can be made electronics version 2 board is ideal for ecus that are used in power train and body domain power train applications when it comes to understanding your vehicle the power train stands out as the beating heart of the entire car in a vehicle the power train comprises the main components that generate the power and deliver that power to the road surface and the term power train encompasses a series of components working together to ensure your car moves efficiently and reliably and these series of components in the power train can be easily interfaced to the electronics version 2 development board these components are power train motor drivers for driving different motors like induction motor permanent magnet synchronous motors switched reluctance motors or brushless or brush direct current motors these motors are the ones that makes our vehicles move ahead and put them into the motion power train pressure sensors to measure the pressure of engine oil pressure of atmosphere for fuel delivery and give important readings related to the health of engine which is used by various control system algorithms running in ecus of power train domain power train temperature sensors for measuring temperature of engine coolant transmission and engine oil boost and manifold air these readings are very important to ensure the proper functioning of power train systems as overheating or extreme low temperatures readings can cause unwanted incidents power train speed sensors for measuring the rotation speed of engine shaft and vehicle speed from these sensors readings are given to the infotainment to show the speed of the vehicle to the passengers and other miscellaneous sensors like knock sensors fuel level sensors mass air flow sensors engine oil condition sensors and etc and electronics version to board has the support of matlab simulink for developing motor control applications for power train and all these sensors listed above can be interfaced with the electronics version to development board by its advanced adc and timer peripheral present on s32k144 microcontroller it also features enhanced dma and interrupts for real time and critical use cases in power train when it comes to providing comfort to passengers and having luxury features in the cars it is the body control domain which comes into the picture various sensors in body control domain can be interfaced to the electronics version to development board and these sensors like solar and ambient lightning sensors for car interiors environmental sensors like rain light humidity temperature sensors above the front mirror to on the wipers automatically depending upon weather conditions tailgate speed and direction sensors motor drivers like stepper motor servo motor dc motor and for controlling the windows wipers seats and various automation things inside the car optical sensors for auto dimming rear view and side mirrors gesture control sensors for opening the car trunk by just hand gestures of our hand or legs 2.4 gigahertz transceiver ics 
फॉर रिमोट कीलेस एंट्री एंड पैसिव एंट्री पैसिव स्टार सिस्टम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वर्जन टू बोर्ड सपोर्ट आई एस ई एल ई डी टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज अ नेक्स्ट जनरेशन स्मार्ट एल ई डी लाइटनिंग सिस्टम मेनली फॉर ऑटोमोटिव इंटीरियर लाइटनिंग ऑल दी सेंसर्स एंड एक्चुएटर्स एंड मॉड्यूल्स विच आई हैव लिस्टेड अब I can be controlled via the electronics version to board using its onboard peripherals like UART, I2C, SPI, ADC, timer, PWM signals. Not only this, electronics version to board also has automotive peripherals like CAN, LIN, SI J6202, which can be used support uh, to easily connect all the different components and the subsystems of the body control domain to be connected with each other. these features make the electronics version to board ideal for body control domain and various sensors and actuators concerning the body control domain can be connected uh, via the can link network across the vehicle now to know more about the peripherals of the electronics version to board and how to interface listed sensors and modules stated in the video explore the get to byte website and get to byte youtube channel where you will be getting many in detail tutorials on these topics and to buy the electronics version to board and start your automotive slash embedded journey navigate to the electronics infra website and buy from here also below mentioned are the playlist link and blog link for getting started with electronics version to board and different sensor and module interfacing and the buy link of the board also see you next time if you guys are interested to know more about cryptography in automotive and ebay architecture in automotive refer to these videos stay safe stay happy and do share it with your friends and uh, mention down your comments for any suggestions so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends